Well, a CBI officer who sent to the Andamans now back in the Supreme Court with explosive details. Tell us more. Well, Ajay Bassi says he does not want to go to the Andamans and this is why. He says the entire evidence which has been presented is very, his evidence should be taken note of. And for the first time, we're getting a hint of what that evidence is. And take a look at it. It's really astounding. Basically, what he has are the call records between the CBI number two, Asthana, and and the raw officer, Samant Goel. And what's fascinating is he says that the accused in this particular case, Manoj Prasad, as soon as he is arrested on the 16th of October, it sets off a flurry of calls. And what's significant is he says that Samant Goel, who is the additional secretary in RNAW, apparently made about four calls to RK Asthana. And while we don't know what actually transpired in those calls, the fact that these calls took place, RK Asthana also then making two calls immediately after and the calls taking place between 10 p.m. at night and 1 p.m. the next afternoon. Significantly, Manoj Prasad's father, Dineshwar Prasad, also a former RNAW officer, also making a call. Apart from that, we also have Alok Parma's man, the former IO, Ajay Basi, putting up WhatsApp messages. And what's significant in this particular one is that while he claims these WhatsApp messages, which were stored since March 2017, the other side, which is Rakesh Astana's side in a lower court, actually said that people like Bassi, in fact, took away eight cell phones belonging to the previous team. But what's interesting is, in court, they only showed in the seizure memo one cell phone. So obviously, lots of counter allegations there. They say that they're going to have charges against Ajay Bassi as well. And if you look at the WhatsApp messages, well, they spell a lot of trouble for Rakesh Asthana because what they claim are the conversations between Somesh Prasad, the accused, and his father-in-law, who is said to be the bribe giver, Sunil Mittal. And take a look at some of the messages. It says, Asthana to apna admi hai. Asthana is our man and then also goes on to say that Asthana met with the accused Manoj Prasad three or four times and then apparently says that the raw officer in this particular case told the accused do not come back to India. What does it all add up to and will the CVC actually say that all this evidence is right or wrong? That's something we have to wait for the next episode for.